unusual alert from the Better Business Bureau tonight for anyone looking for a new pet. Consumer reporter John Matteris has the warning signs that that cute puppy may really be a scam. But first, another data breach, John? Yes, Kristen, another week, another data breach. Sonic is the most popular old-style drive-in restaurant in the country. But if you ate there this year, your credit card may be compromised. The website Krebs on Security claims several million customer credit card numbers may have been stolen from Sonic in recent months. Sonic tells CNN we are working to understand the nature and scope of this. My advice, if you use a credit card at Sonic, Watch your statement very carefully. Millions of Apple fans are waiting another month for the groundbreaking iPhone 10, but it appears many of them may have to wait even longer. Macworld and other tech blogs tonight say Apple is dealing with a shortage of some key parts for the iPhone 10. And while they will have thousands of phones ready for the November 3rd rollout, it may still be not enough to meet the demand. Are you looking to buy a puppy? Well, the Better Business Bureau has just issued a national warning about something I've told you about a couple of times in recent months. A network of con artists who are taking money for dogs that don't really exist. Lisa Roman and her kids wanted a Pomeranian puppy so badly, she says she almost lost $1,000 to a scammer. They're just so excited. They're like, I got to get this dog. There's only one left and I got to hurry. And they get swept up in the emotion of it all. But the Ohio mom had second thoughts because the price was just too good to be true. This Lawrenceburg woman, Debbie, too frightened to use her last name, told me last summer how she was scammed trying to buy a pug. So it was a moneygram. It came to $511.50. So she sent a moneygram. And I was supposed to get the dog the next day. Mm -hmm. No dog. They create a fantasy that these dogs are for sale and uh, really play on your emotions. The Better Business Bureau's Sue McConnell says even though the sellers appear to be operating here in the U.S., they're actually not. It's really a big network of criminals doing this, and a lot of them apparently are coming out of Cameroon, West Africa. McConnell says if you send a deposit, the bogus puppy sellers will ask for more and more money, blaming it on shipping and insurance costs or flight delays. You're so excited to get this cute little puppy, and it's a lot of money, and then you, you get nothing. The Better Business Bureau says to protect yourself. Don't buy your puppies online unless you're looking at a website of a local breeder that you can visit. So please don't send money, no matter what excuse they make about the dog being in California, Texas, or wherever. Finally, it's you in Wednesday, our weekly freebie segment, and I love this Friday. Why? September 29th, Kristen, is National Coffee Day. Tim Hortons, they're on Colerain Avenue and in Erlanger. They will have a free cup of coffee for you at Dunkin' Donuts all over the tri-state. BOGO Coffee, buy one, get one free. And the Flying J and Pilot Travel Plazas will have free coffee with a coupon from their website. On WCPO.com, read my report on the new talking tech scam. You hear about this one? It takes over your computer speakers. You can listen to the scam on WCPO.com so you don't waste your money. Chris